Sup everyone, Paul Neon Davidson here of Atomic Comms, and it's E3 time once again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be going down to the main E3 event later on today. Today is June 11th, but first, we gotta watch Nintendo's Direct. Let's get ready to react to, hopefully, a really good E3 Direct that Nintendo usually gives us, but then again, they've disappointed in the past, but here's to hoping that they don't disappoint. Also, I literally just uploaded a spoilerish review for Detective Pikachu earlier today, and yeah, I know it's really late, the movie's been out for like a month and all that stuff, but real life stuff got in the way, it kept me from actually doing anything with the review, but now I finally got it out. Literally the first day of E3, when nobody really cares about that anymore, but if you want to see what my opinions on the movie are, then go ahead, check it out. It's my, literally the last thing I uploaded before this. But for now, let's react to the Nintendo Direct. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, is this Bayonetta? Oh no, it's a trailer of some sort. Oh, never mind, Smash Brothers. Oh, okay, I think this is uh, relating to the story mode. Wow, dang, this is freaking cool. I love freaking these cinematics for Smash Brothers. Okay, who is this? What's this white, white horse? What do we got here? Who is it? Wound. Hmm. Wait, who is it? Impressive firepower already. Is it a Fire Emblem character? Oh, it's a dr Oh, is that the dude from Dragon Quest? It's the dude- Yeah, it's freaking- What's his name from Dragon Quest Eleven? I think. No, oh, that's pretty impressive. That's cool. Oh my god, that's kind of awesome. I've actually been wanting to play this game, so... I think uh, Square Enix talked about it in their press conference. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get the game now. This is awesome. It looks cool to play as. That's ah, slime. Okay. Oh, what do we got now? Echo Fighter. Oh shoot, dude. You got view too, dude. You're screwed, and Bowser, you screwed. I don't I'm not much of a Dragon Quest guy. So, I mean like I said, I haven't played anything yet, so who are these guys again? <laughs> All Dragon Ball Z characters? There you go, you got Goku in the game, guys. They're all Echo Fighters, I'm sure. Yeah, they are. Alright. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. They got a little... They got some uh, RPG stuff in there. Oh, dang. Holy crud. That's pretty neat. Oh, you're so screwed! That's a one way to start it off. Alright. Dragon Quest. Alright. Dragon Quest is a cool choice. Summer. So it's coming out in August. Now we got actual Dragon Quest 11. Yeah, looking cool. Looks cool. It, uh, it looked cool uh, last year, too. I might get this game. This looks pretty neat. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> As an RPG, is a turn-based RPG. 
That's got the original 8-bit style, or not 8-bit, but... The original sprite-based style. I'm amazed that they haven't talked yet, but I probably just jinxed myself by saying that. In September. Cool. Oh, never mind. Yep, jinxed myself. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Hello, Nintendo. Koizumi. This Nintendo Direct for E3 I remember you. We'll showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig into the next game, don't hold out on this. First. <laughs> Phil Spencer. What? What are you doing here? It's the dad. It's the best dad ever. He even's wearing a tie. Nobody can understand you. There's been a bit of a mix up. You're not the right Bowser. Oh, come on. But I'm the right Bowser. Haha, joke. Somebody's gonna get mad. We get it. We get it. His name is Bowser. We get it. Not this way. No, no. Exits. Exit stage right. Bye. Bye. And that took up how many minutes? Are you related? No, but we get that a lot. Is that our first announcement? Well, let's get back to it. Please take Yes, away. let's get back to it. Hi everyone. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and I'm thrilled to join you for today. That was a funny joke, but the thing is it went on for too long. To show the world we have games for every type of player on Nintendo Switch. Whether you love action, RPGs, or you're just looking for something new, we know. We've got you covered. Thank you, Doug. Okay, so let's get a look at one of those games by taking a tour of Luigi's Mansion 3. Okay, Luigi's Mansion. All right, that's good. <laughs> Snap. Oh, story stuff. Hello. Mario. Oh God, did Mario go missing again? And Peach was in the. Peach is staying at the hotel. He's invited to a gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the others. Oh, lucky him. Oh, nice. Is, I'm already liking this. <laughs> he fell asleep, really. Luigi's Mansion 3. This hotel is much more than meets the eye. For not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly this is nice. To move on. Good, uh, good graphics. They're rather aggressive. Simply scare them with the scroll bulb, then suck them up. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the G00. capabilities required and other new features as well. Like what? First, the slam. While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict Oh damage. my god. It helps to get other ghosts so violent. Oh dang. Next, the suction shot. That's kind of nice. Find the plunger to attach it to oh, he's a plumber, get it. The string and you can destroy furniture and more. It's effective against certain ghost types too. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to gang up on you. In such oh, situations, dang. a burst should do. The powerful air pressure released will blow He just farted. And it's perfect Why isn't Wario playable? It's a platformer now. Uh, we simply can't overlook the latest invention from Professor Egad, namely Gooigi. Oh my god. Between Luigi and Gooigi to use both their skills. Gooigi can do everything from... Oh my... Ah! It's the T-1000. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a oh, now you can place both of them. A friend, he makes for a great co-op partner. Oh, I see. So that's where the co-op comes from. Guigi and water definitely don't mix. Yeah, just like in the first game, we're supposed to have. Attention to the scare scraper. Spooky, sure. Yet it also houses up to eight players. Holy crud! Online co-op game. Oh, that's pretty neat. I didn't really care for the online gameplay in uh, Dark Moon.
Looks a little bit more interesting than the 3DS one. What a place to wake up in. A haunted hotel with floor after floor of oh, stage set. Many traps and mischievous ghosts lurk within. What will befall our Oh, come on. Oh, well, spoiler warning. Oh, King Boo's back. Oh, why am I not surprised? He's like the only villain that this series has. Wow, that spoiled a lot. Oh, it's available so that was Mansion this year. The latest right. game in a series that I personally love. And Me too. We forward to seeing some of the new gameplay elements that await in this strange hotel as we dive deeper into this title. I want to more. I more want to see how it's organized. If it's gonna be. We'll be streaming content. Yeah, yeah. Treehouse. Right from the show floor, including live gameplay of Super Mario Maker 2. And on day three, our Treehouse staff will get their hands on some promising indie games that are new to Nintendo Switch. I'll just, yeah, I'll just play it when I While get to the E3. Nintendo Direct, keep an eye out for this icon. Mario Maker 2. Other games will appear on Nintendo Treehouse. Live Come on! <laughs> Next game, we get it! Want to miss it. Or this. Have a look. Doug, you're telling us stuff we already know. <laughs> Kinda. Now what do we got? Olga slept too long. Far too long. <laughs> Jim Henson? What has become? <gasps> Dark Crystal? No. What have they done? Gather a sun checked for any Zelda? Fantasy game. That's a oh, it's a tr it's a strategy game. No, nope. I'm automatically friggin' signing out of this. The character models are a little eh. Not really impressed. Let's have Link get in on this. Oh, it is Dark Crystal. I was just joking. I didn't know it was actually Dark Crystal related. I've actually never seen that movie. Alright, well, if you like Dark Crystal... Oh, there we go. Link's Awakening. The graphics are a little too simple, but it still looks nicer than a Game Boy Advance game, so... Or not a Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy... I mean, it looks better than Game Boy Advance too, but... I'm looking forward to this soundtrack. I love friggin' Link's Awakening soundtrack. Can he escape Koi Island by destroying the island? Pokies. Huh. Oh my god, are they- Oh no, I just noticed the friggin' heads-up display. Oh no, wait, nah, that's still an improvement over what the original game had. Because they're still using two buttons for the frickin'- Still using two buttons for the frickin' uh, weapons and all that, but uh, I think it's actually better than- uh, Oh, Dampa, yeah, he wasn't in the original. Oh, make your own Zelda. You make your own uh, dungeon. That's cute. That's new. That's the reason why, why Zelda Maker was cease and desisted. <laughs> and get a bottle. Up oh, Song of the Windfish in September, all right. Soon enough. 
I'm glad they're not interjecting commentary in between games. They're just showing the games off. What square? Okay, so what RPG is this? Final Fantasy VII. It's an anime RPG. Oh, is this what's its name? Wasn't this... Oh, never mind. I don't even know what that is. Mana. Secret of mana. Oh, it's Charles. I see. Never mind. I just screwed myself over there. Early 2020. That's nice. Secret of mana. All right. I've always wanted to try Secret of Mana, so... Oh, that's an oh and later today? Alright, that's cool. Alright. I was actually more excited for that than the actual game itself, but alright. Now what is this? Death Stranding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, that's cool. This was leaked, but... Yeah, this is cool. Wow. Still looks nice. Complete edition, good. Comes with all the stuff. And it's coming out this year. Awesome. See, look, why can't the trailers be that short? Fire Emblem. <laughs> me, 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 me. Wait, that guy was a b girl? <laughs> Jeez, okay, well, that's a surprise. We fought here as classmates. As big class reunions go? Never mind. This one's gotta be the worst in history. What should we do, Teach? Kill every last one of them! Hell yeah. Again, I don't hate Fire Emblem, I just don't. This series has never been for me. I'm not a tactical RPG type of guy. Or real-time strategy, that's what it is. I'm not calling it... I don't think there's a difference. Skeletor? Yes! Ruby! Tres Casas. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. Oh, wow, that's coming out soon. That's coming out really soon. I jinxed myself. The only gaming console you can play, not only on your TV at home, but anywhere you go. In fact, with a system like this, it might be fun to play Resident Evil at a location like this. Like what? Directly at you? I like how he just said Resident Evil. Live action movie. This is perfect, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is perfect. The dark, the dark, scary forest. With the door that looks okay, if there's a door that has a lock like that, you know it's haunted. Oh, this looks perfect, honey. No lights. No light. This is perfect. D really? What? It, what? What third world country does this take place in that you need to play your Nintendo Switch in a place like this? This is your secret hideout. The original one? Like the original original one? Oh no, this is. I, I don't know why you would want to play the original one. Oh my god, I'm scary. I'm scared. Ah! Dogs! Damn, I shot one off screen. 
Uh, take turns. This is such a hard game. If it's announcing Resident Evil 2 or something like that, then... Snack. Yes. The original remake. I thought this was already on. I know 4 is on there. 5, okay. 6. 7. 0, then 1... Was 2 on there? I forget. Oh, right. You left your Switch behind, you freaking idiot. Playing a Resident Evil game it's scary. No, at home. I bet you could find your way to play, don't you think? Yeah, on a TV in my room. Please take a look. Take a look at what? You know, every time they do a snap, half the world loses its population. Was today the fourth of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Looks like things are Travis? No. Oh, no, it's a freaking. <laughs> no. Oh, um, wait. This looks familiar to me. Why does this look familiar to me? Why do I think this is freaking No More Heroes? Oh, is it No More Heroes? Yeah, it is. What the heck? What am I saying? <laughs> I was like, he pulled out the sword, and that's when, like, oh, right. Yeah, it is no more heroes because because of his freaking sword. Yep, yeah, this is looking really good to me. Oh, this looks amazing. I love the original ones. No more heroes. You better be playable in Smash Brothers. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's what I was wanting to see. Oh, come to Smash Brothers, please. Welcome back, Gladys. Tis the Jargon of Madness. All right, in 2020. Heck yeah. Kaiser. Hungry beast. HB is actually a cyborg. I love him so much. What is this? And her alien. This is the kind of thing I hate about, you know. By merging together during the alien wars. I don't know what I don't know what to expect. They always show off games and I literally know nothing about them. But then again, that's the whole point. Battle aliens, is that the name of it? Kill everything. That's a much better name for it. Save the world. Eh. A little too optimistic for me. You got the guts. Nickelodeon. Contra. Oh, what? What? Oh, Konami, you... Ah, Konami. Oh, all the Contra games. Oh, the wow! There's so many, uh, there's so many collections on the eShop. God. Now what do we got? Doom. Oh, it's Demo next match. The demo is all right. What is this song? Now. The battle's already started? If you get in our way, Diva Evangelion. I don't know, it just always looks like Evangelion for for me. Yep. That's pretty badass.
you know, you won't be able to see this, but in the quality I'm watching too, it looks so blurry. So I can barely see what's going on. So is there a release date for it or anything? September 13th, all right. They're showing off a bunch of games. I'm just waiting for them to take up half of the direct with uh with Smith with something. Panzer Dragoon. Ba ba ba. Is this Panzer Dragoon? Yeah, I think it is. I don't remember. You know, I think I should know this, but I don't. If, that, if that's if it's Panzer Dragoon, then that's kind of cool. Yep, it is. Wow. Where's Sega? Se uh, Sega, you made a game that wasn't Sonic. Holy shit. Is this a remake? Konnichiwa. Hello. I'm oh. I didn't recognize this music. Earlier this month, we held a Pokemon Direct for the latest games in the series. And it was pretty neat. Didn't do a reaction to it, but it was still pretty cool. The developers from Game Freak showcased the new Galar region, the location of your new adventure, and some new Pokemon you'll encounter there. Well, Wulu is loved. So please stay tuned. November, yes. These freaking Digimon. You can use certain functions of the Pokeball Plus. Certain? Like what? Allowing you to take a Pokemon from one of these games out for a stroll through the real world with you. Oh, nice. I just got my Eevee with me, so I'm fine. The device as a game controller. Really? Spend some quality time with a favorite Pokemon of yours, then something good might happen. In the Nintendo can I put a Fennekin in it? This year's E3, fans can play Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield for the first time anywhere in the world. Sweet. Me. I get to do demo, that. You can challenge one of the gyms in the Galar region. The one and only water gym. Where the water type gym leader Nessa will be there waiting for you. If you're attending this year's show, I encourage you to experience the battle between Dynamax Pokemon. Which is an advanced strategy from this region. The not, the mega evolution if it was actually mega. Also, immediately after this Nintendo Direct... Stay tuned for live gameplay of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. No, let's spend no no no. Let's spend half of the direct talking about it. I'd like to shift gears. Please have a look at this. I'm sorry. I just like the freaking last year with Smash Brothers just took up too much time. Is what is this? Is this Pokemon related? <laughs> what Pokemon game is this? Wow, these Pokemon, dude. This is looking pretty neat. Astral Train is pretty... Ast Astral Chain? Astral Chain. Well, she's dead. And tears? Wow, it's Mario Odyssey. Powerful allies. I'm referring, of course, to the legions. Yes, allies by brainwashing them. I'll give you some parting advice. Your power. It's not the blessing you think it is. When a legionis and a legion are perfectly synchronized, it's like they're two parts of one body. No use. The override release isn't going through. That's impossible. My god. Platinum Games, what have you done? I wonder if Bayonetta 3 is going to show up. Let's hope I predicted right. Yeah, this is already cooler than last year's. Kind of. <laughs> The truth. You can't handle the truth. 
Chain. August. Ah, oh, these games are coming out pretty soon. Platinum. Putnam Games. That's the end. That's it. No more. <laughs> now what? Bullets. Cuphead. The Great Gatsby. Live action Cuphead, I guess, everybody. L.A. Noir. What the heck is this? Got old 50s gangster. Roaring 20s gangster game. That's pretty neat. I like 1920s gangsters. Yeah, I could do that. Ah, uh, Marvel. I said I actually know that right off the back. Right off the bat. Back of my hand. Doc Doc. He wasn't in Endgame. Hell, it wasn't in Endgame. Mysterio wasn't in... Uh, I hate that guy so much. Oh my god. I actually do want to get this game. It looks pretty cool. Miles. Oh my god, it's the freaking minority group. Minority report. What the frick is that? Oh look, Nicolas Cage is in this game. I will make you. <laughs> You've taken everything from me. Oh, that's Electra, I think. But Showing off a ton of heroes. X Men, Guardians. Everybody's here. Screw you, Smash Ultimate. Everyone's here. Oh no! 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 July. Wow, nine days after my birthday. Hmm. Maybe I should get that. Ah, <laughs> oh, this girl. They've been hyping this game up for a while. That's pretty neat. Wow. I wonder what you have to do in order to, uh... In order to do crossovers like this with Nintendo. Nice. That was pretty neat. There, you just need to be... Aw, oh, Mario and Sonic. Oh, he's got new shoes. He's got the movie shoes. Can we do a crossover with movie Sonic and movie Mario? Get Bob Hoskins in there. Get Ben Schwartz in there. And by friends, we mean just Yoshi and Knuckles. Wait, what? Is there an SNES version? <laughs> now these are new games, I think. Oh, Zavok's a playable character. Everybody hates Zavok. This is a violent game, isn't it? At the so just the Olympic Games. So what do you think so far? Just the Olympic Games. Follow up information on a game that fans have been waiting for. Please take a look. <laughs> They're not even specifying which where it is. It's just the games. Ultimate. What? What game? We're about to crash into the... Oh, thank God. Ah. Oh, God. Okay, so a lot of people are going to be uh, shitting themselves. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be killing themselves right now. I'll let you know. They're not going to be killing themselves, but there. Are you happy? Are you happy? 
I know, I know everybody freaking wanted an Animal Crossing game. Here you go, you happy? You can shut up now. I was looking, I was actually, uh, I was afraid that they weren't going to show you. I don't really play Animal Crossing, but it is looking kind of good. It's looking pretty nice. Nice graphics. Oh, dang. Oh, she's adorable. They're all adorable. What am I saying? Ah, online. All the Smash Brothers characters are here. New Horizons. In March, there. There are Animal Crossing people. You happy? Smash Brothers? Oh, for frick's sake, Nook. Oh, you jerk. Originally, we announced this title as a 2019 release. However, we need to change its release date to March 20th of... Ah, uh, you Nintendo delaying your games. The best it can be. There. We must ask you to wait a little longer than we it's automatically the best uh, direct. We hope you look forward to the latest installment of Animal Crossing. Metroid Prime 4 now. No. On Nintendo Treehouse Live, the game's producer, Mr. Nogami, and the director, Ms. Kyogoku, will come on for a live demonstration of some early moments in the game, so please stick around until it starts. By the way, there are many different types of games coming to Nintendo Switch from Nintendo and our partners. Sizzle Reel. So, we've prepared a highlight reel to show you what's yeah. in store for 2019 and beyond. I'm glad that they at least showed gameplay of it and had a release date for it, so that's nice at least. Spyro, yes! Yes, there we go. I was wondering where he was. Now I can stop playing it on my P now my PS4 is literally outdated. My friggin' is obsolete now. Wow, nice self nice anime game. Minecraft Dungeons, yep. Minecraft 2! I'm just glad Sparrow's coming. Groot. Devolver Digital, love those guys. Doom Eternal, cool. Glad to see even this one's coming. Wolfenstein, yeah. What is that? The Witcher 3. Alien Isolation, oh, interesting. Couple of years late, but alright. Final Fantasy. Builders. Minecraft. Harley Quinn. I can barely read what the titles of these games are. Just Dance. Oh, dang. I never would have guessed. Catan. Here's your card game. Conquer. Oh, no. I thought... Oh, you screw you. Oh, it's Lucky Still. You know, it sucks. I bought this game on Xbox One and I have literally not done anything with it yet. Ah, oh, boy. I don't even know if I should buy Mario Maker. What? I'm amazed they didn't focus... It. Really? I'm amazed they didn't really pull any real focus on Mario Maker. I mean, I know they had that tournament thing, but... Wow, that was cool. What? Now what? Now what? What? Again? Oh, wow. Um, uh, excuse me? What was that? What was that? So they're just hanging out now. They're best friends. What was that? Wait, what? No! No! Oh, f 
Screw you guys! Okay. I hate you so much! I hate you! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> this is awesome! Oh, wow! Yep, we're screwed. That's it. This is the best freaking... Oh, they're all happy, yes. That's it, guys. That's it. Yeah, this is the best direct. This makes up for anything that they did last year. Oh, my God. I am so happy right now. Oh, this is great. Now we just need Conquer. Have him swear up a storm. I did love that. That was a great... Oh, Spiral Mountain. It looks just like how it did in Nuts and Bolts. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, nice. Uh, nice little callback. What a freaking way to go. Holy crud. That's great. Wow, we actually have a non-Japanese character in the game. Thank you, Microsoft. Okay. Thanks, Microsoft. Wow. You fall. Oh, it's coming out this year. Sweet. That is... Okay, well, guess I need to freaking get that uh, ba that pass then. That obviously wasn't Duck Hunt silhouette, was it? Please stay tuned for more information about... That's cool. All right. Yeah. You got me. We have more games in development beyond what we've shown you today. I'm looking forward to the day we can introduce them to you. Metroid. Speaking of. Oh, what? Before we end this direct. Tell your secrets. I actually have one more thing to show you. It's going to be Disney sum sum. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. That's awesome though. That far, that one announcement automatically just like redeemed like everything. What is this? Breath of the Wild. It's another Smash Brothers character. <laughs> Ghostbusters. What is it? Death Stranding. Oh, it is Breath of the Wild. I was just... I, th I was lying. Is it the sequel? I think it's a sequel. Is it a Twilight Princess type of thing, or... This is interesting. What do we got here? Yeah, Breath of the Wild. Something Breath of the Wild related. Ex yet another expansion pack? What do we got? Oh, for frick's sake. Can't we go one game without freaking Hyrule Castle being destroyed? The sequel. Oh, okay. So we got a sequel. All right. As long as they make better characters and make the story a little bit more worthwhile, then uh, could be cool. All right. All right. That was pretty freaking exciting there. Good job. So that was definitely way better than last year because I made jokes about it this entire video, but. Last year, they focused mostly on Smash Brothers, and I think Nintendo's Directs are the best when they don't focus solely on one game, because they've been doing that for the past couple of years, but this one, it seems like they're focusing on a little of everything. They have a little Smash Brothers in there, they have some Luigi's Mansion in there, some Animal Crossing, some... Not really any Mario Maker, which kind of doesn't surprise me, but also does surprise me. So, yeah, this actually does live up to the expectations that I had for the Direct. I don't want this video to go on any longer, really, but uh, Luigi's Mansion was one of my favorite announcements for this Direct. Uh, Smash Brothers, all the Smash Brothers stuff is amazing. I actually feel like playing Dragon Quest XI now, and uh, a lot of the games that they showed off that are going to be on the Switch, the Switch is just a perfect system at this point. Like, there's just no denying it. With all these games, with everything that still has to come out, it's gonna be crazy. I don't so, I don't know. I might follow this up with another E3 video where I go over the entire thing and as a whole. 
Maybe not because I suck at promising you guys things and uh, I usually come out with videos pretty late past their prime relevance. But yeah, I'm gonna go head over to the convention center now so I can get my hands on some of these games and actually, hopefully, make an actual video about them this time. See you guys next time whenever I get around to making another video. Have a good E3.